Solving trigonometric equations. Question 2. Give general solution to the equation 2 cos square x plus 1 equals to 0. Well, read this carefully. We again need general solution. Okay. In general, if domain is not given for x, you have to give general solution. Let that be a rule. Okay. It will help you. Now let's try to solve this equation and find general solution to this equation. So we have 2 cos square x plus 1 equals to 0. That means cos square x, let's take, let's do it in steps. Cos square x equals to minus 1 and cos square x equals to minus 1 over 2 and then what? And then we kind of square it, right? square root it and if we square root it we get cos x is equals to square root of minus half well that is not possible and so we don't have any solution so we have no solution for this case okay now let's change this question so if the question is as written here then we definitely have no solution for this question right now because the square of cos cannot be negative now so both the quantities here are positive this quantity is positive this constant so there is no solution so now let's change the question a bit and let me write this question as so let me do this as question a and I am doing a different question here as 2 which is cos square x minus 1 equals to zero right I changed this question because there could have been a error in typing but in case we get a question like this no solution is also the right solution to this question okay remember that now let's do it again with 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0 if that is the question B asked well let's say now we are solving this question okay let's be very clear about it what are we solving now in that case cos square x can be written as Let's go by the same steps. We get 2 cos square x equals to 1. And so cos square x equals to half. And cos x equals to plus and minus square root 1 over 2. So that is what we get the value of x. And if we see our special triangle. So the special triangle with 45 degrees or pi by 4 is the one which gives us the solution so for those of you who are doing in radians this will be pi by 4 and I'm putting 45 degrees here right it makes sense and these two sides are 1 1 and that is square root 2 so we have a solution here for cos x which should be 45 degrees or pi by 4 now and says plus and minus that means in all four quadrants right so our solutions are let me draw here this is our solution right one could be these two positions the other are these two right so these two gives me positive values these two give me negative values correct and if i write and so pi by 4 so i get pi by 4 2 pi by 4 3 pi by 4 4 pi by 4 5 pi by 4 6 and 7 pi by 4 so the solution in one circle is like pi by 4 and then again if we go then 8 and 9 pi by 4 correct and so on so what we see is that we have pi by 4 with all odd numbers you see that that is what I wanted to show you that these pi by 4s are with odd numbers right and therefore odd number could be written as 2n plus 1 correct 2n plus 1 will give me always an odd number. If I put n as 0, then I get 1, right? If I put n as 1, I get 2 plus 1 as 3, so I get 3, right? And if I add pi by 4 to it, so I'll get this pi by 4s. So that is the way I've made a kind of series for you to write a general solution. And I'll say, well, my x should be equals to 2n plus 1 pi by 4, where n belongs to integers, right? And could be negative remember we could go like this also negative getting the same answers right so if you get an equation like 2x squared plus 1 equals to 0 
then of course there is no solution. So it is important to, you know, understand how to write a solution, right? So this simple equation may have many solutions and that is the way to write a general solution. It is kind of a series, okay? Now let's see one more on general solution and then we will have restricted domains to find solution of our trigonometric equations. Okay, thank you.